This is my um, native fish tank. I've got two long fin butterfly koi that were originally uh, put in this tank just as feeder fish for this uh, young squawfish. I caught it in June of uh, 2020 and uh, he is not growing really fast but the koi they ended up growing very very quickly. Squawfish are also known as northern pike minnows. They get to be two or three feet long when they're full grown. I think this guy will be stunted because of the size of aquarium that he's in. They are predatory fish and uh, they fish and wildlife here in Oregon has determined that northern pike minnows are damaging the salmon smolt population in a very negative manner underneath each one of the dams that we have on the uh, Columbia River and they have a bounty on squawfish how many you catch and if you catch ten or more they give you more money for each fish that you catch and uh, you check in in the morning and then uh, in the afternoon evening when you're done catching fish uh, squawfish they pay you money I don't know how the money gets paid out right there on the spot or whether you have to I wait until it's sent to you by the Oregon Fish and Wildlife, but uh, it's quite a thing. A fish that has a bounty on its head, and it's a native fish to Oregon, and they're also extremely prolific. I find them very interesting fish because they're, well, they're, they're sort of like a bass, but nobody likes squawfish, northern pike minnows. They, uh, I don't know that they're edible. Well, I'm sure they're edible, but uh, they're probably uh, real bony fish, maybe. I've never tried to eat a squawfish. Maybe I will someday. <laughs> sort of like eating carp. It's considered a, a, well, a trash fish. A fish that's undesirable for human consumption anyway. Squawfish have really large mouths. It doesn't look that large, but boy, when they open it, they can inhale a fish that's, that's a guy like this big can probably inhale a three inch fish very, very easily. And this guy could be inhaled easily by just a medium-sized squawfish or a northern pike minnow of the same size. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching my pet native fish uh, and my two koi in this aquarium swim around and do their thing. Here it is, November 18th, June, July, August, September, October, November. I've had him quite a while. I keep the tank completely covered. I've had a squawfish in the past, a few years ago, and uh, I lost it when it jumped out of the tank. Uh, so I don't want to lose this guy or the koi. Koi generally tend to not jump. It was really strange. He went from beating the koi up to actually being friendly with them. He nuzzles them and pushes them around a little bit, but he doesn't try to bite their fins anymore. And you might see some of that activity. I'm real close to the aquarium, so it's probably putting off some of the natural activity that uh, I get to see when I'm 
sitting back a little bit, not being so obnoxiously close.